Hey, what's up guys? It's number one Pred here and today what I'll be bringing you guys is day number five. Woohoo! I'm trying my best to stay uh, happy about this but my throat is really dry. Um, but we are on day number five so we are a fifth of the way through. Let's go into fraction mode. Yes, we are a fifth of the way through um, to completing the series. So there's a checkpoint for me. Um, I mean, I'm not exactly struggling. I do have a lot more to show you guys, but uh, yeah, this is day number five. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series, and I do have to thank you guys for the support of the earlier episodes of this series. Thank you guys so much for that. It really is awesome that you guys have supported me. For those who have stayed and watched every single video and left a comment and whatnot, I also thank you guys, you know, even more because the support from you guys especially have been insane. And uh, let's see if you guys can keep it up till day 25 and then, you know, you'll get that little shout out and thank you from me in day 26, Boxing Day, whatever, the aftermath. I don't know, I'll plan it out as soon as possible. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's, you know, ramble. The gameplay we'll be watching in the background is a HBR A3, I think that's what you call it, HBR anyways, DNA bomb on the map solar. I don't really like the variant that I had, it's like the radar. I don't like the fact that it allows you you know, magazine of bullets, it goes from like 30 to 26 I believe, I don't really like that to be honest, but it is where it is, um, I also ran the um, stop, silencer and foregrip, just because what I don't like about the, the uh, ray driver is that it does make you actually a bit way who, I don't really like that, but I do like the fact that you do shoot your rounds fast, because the HPR is a slow shooting gun, um, as if you guys don't know already, it's like the Remington stroke ACR, but like a really, 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 really slow shooting one. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it towards the, to, uh, regarding the gameplay. Hope you guys do enjoy. Once again, if you did, make sure to hit that like rating down below. That'd be sweet if you guys could. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it regarding the gameplay and the uh, video. The question what I'm going to be asking you guys for today is what is the naughtiest thing you've ever done? I know I said naughty. I don't want to say like bad as if you shot someone, killed someone. I don't want to hear any of that. I don't want to hear stuff like oh you've kicked someone's head and beaten someone up or you kicked someone's ball sack off and it rolled into the road and got ran over by a lorry and splat over everyone. I don't want to hear that. I mean if someone has done that, I mean seriously, what is wrong with you? <laughs> but um, yeah, anyways, what I'm going to be talking about today is one of the naughtiest things I've done, one of them, not the naughtiest thing, because it's, it's pretty much nothing, but it's pretty bad for the age I was. So I was about 8, 9 or 10, I can't remember what one exactly, but I used to collect trading cards, call it match attacks. They were football, or for those Americans out there, soccer trading cards uh, regarding the football, uh, English football league or soccer league, whatever. Um, I could do an argument over football and soccer, but I'll leave it for today's video. Maybe soon I might do a rant on soccer and football. Sorry for people who are watching me from America. I don't like the way it's called soccer, but anyways. Yeah, so what I did is I used to, you know, complete every set. I used to be an absolute fanatic over it. I always liked completing things, you know, completing the set, getting all the common, the rare, and the super rare ones. And I actually did complete all of the sets that I ended up collecting. And what I did to do that was kind of a cheap, really, really harsh move. And it was actually classed as stealing. And um, nobody in my family knows about it. I'm not telling anyone. I'm going to keep it in the quiet. But what I used to do is uh, there's a shop called Superdrug. And it's basically like an off license. It sells like newspapers, sweets, cosmetics, you know, toiletries, whatnot. And um, for whatever reason, it sells trading cards. And what a lot of shops in these day and ages do, they keep their trading cards behind the till. So, you know, they give you the packet instead of you choosing it yourself. But this shop, it had it out in the open for us to choose the packet we wanted. And I'm a sly little kid, or I was, I probably still am. <laughs> um, I used to open the packet in the shop without paying for it. I used to bring my folder of all the, you know, the doubles, the ones I already had, um, that I'd already picked out of the card beforehand. I used to actually fill the uh, sort of packaging, because the rare ones sort of had like a different texture to it. I used to fill all of the packets to fill for the rare ones. And when I felt like the rare sort of crumply bumpiness, I used to pick it out of the packet and then I used to uh, swap it with my double one. And that is kind of stealing in a way. I mean, it's kind of trading. Maybe someone else might have needed my card. You never know. Could have done the greater good, but, you know, the, the idea of it probably wasn't the best thing. I used to go out without paying as well. So um, I was pretty bad in that sense. Um, I did complete my sets because of that. And I kind of regret doing no, I don't regret doing it. Fuck it, it's trading cards. But yeah, <laughs> and that's it for the day's commentary topic. 
um, and the gameplay. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to hit that like rating down below and answer that question I asked down below. What's the baddest thing you've ever done? But anyways, guys, have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.